Friday, which is today. I'm filming it. Hi, and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be baking a cake, if you didn't guess already. Well, not cakes, some cupcakes, because I don't trust myself to make a full one. And the reason that I am baking a cake is to celebrate my 200th vlog on TikTok. And that's what people said I should do, so that's what I'm doing. So I guess we should just get started, right? Well, I'm just doing dying. Let's go. Let's find the recipe, because I don't know what I'm doing. So I have got a recipe, but I'm also going to wing it a bit, because I'm doing two different kinds of cakes. So I'm going to keep like the, the main part the same and then just like add a few ingredients to set the bowls and then make like different frostings and hopefully it'll go right but we shall see. I'm not a baker and I have no faith in myself so this might not go right. Hopefully it does because I really like cupcakes and so does my family so we'll see. Now before I get started I'm going to take my rings off and wash my hands because... Hi G. So I need 150 grams of flour. So I need another 20, 20 grams. This is not the way you should be doing it, I can already tell. But it's fine. And then it says a pinch of salt. I never know what a pinch of salt is, so I'm just gonna do three cracks. And then one tablespoon of cocoa powder, which I don't have. So we will be using hot chocolate powder. That doesn't look like it's gonna make a lot. Should I do double? We're gonna do double. I'm gonna do double. So the next step is wet ingredients, and like this is probably where it's gonna go wrong. So first we're gonna put how much is it? 50 grams of butter in. So let's do that. Let's see if that's 50. A little over, it's fine. Then we want 150 grams of this stuff which is caster sugar, by the way. Oh wait, no, I'm doubling the ingredients, aren't I? That'll do. Okay, so now I've got the right amount of ingredients in here, I'm going to mix it, which I can already tell it's gonna take me a very long time, so let's get cracking. Look at that, bud. Look at that, wow. It says light and fluffy, but that's not happening. Egg time. Bloop. It's not cracking. It's not cracking. Ooh. I can't. Oh, that did not work out well. Oh, <laughs> I've never cracked an egg so badly. I'm usually an expert at cracking eggs as well, but this time just wasn't, didn't work out for me. Whoopsies. Vanilla. Vanilla. That is one tablespoon. And then, this video is a mess, I apologise. Buttermilk. So, the recipe says 100 grams, 100 mils. This has 300, so I'm just going to pour it in and leave a little bit, or is that just risky? Well, I've done it anyway, so... Whoever said it was a good idea for me to bake a cake was very wrong, because I am not doing a good job of this at all. How much oil? Oh, this just looks wrong. I'm doing it wrong. Guys, <laughs> I'm stressed out. And then vinegar. How much of that do we need? Two tablespoons. I'm gonna do one, because why would you want wine, wine, vinegar in it? Okay, maybe two. I'll listen to the recipe. Okay, cool. Mix time, look at that. Beautiful. And now it says to pour and mix. This is the best part. <laughs> It kind of looks lumpy. Why? Why is it lumpy? Why is it doing that? I don't know. I'm scared. Why is it lumpy? Oh. I'm going to give up. I'm going to give up. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is put red natural colouring in one half. And then in the other half, I'm going to put some Biscoff spread. 
I didn't tell you guys what kind of cakes I'm making. I'm doing a terrible job with this. What I'm going to do is one cake is going to be red velvet and the other is going to be Biscoff. Unfortunately, I could only find the spread. They didn't have any biscuits, so these ones are going to have to do. So I guess it's half red velvet, half biscuit themed. I think that might have been a bit too much. I think I went overboard there. It's fine. It'll all work out. It'll all work out. I'm sorry if the light keeps changing. I am filming in my kitchen and I can't control the weather. Um, yeah, sorry. This one's the red one. This one is now the Biscoff one. So I'm gonna put a hell of a lot of this spread in it and it's crispy spread, so I'm very excited. <laughs> I don't know how much is too much. Too much? Nah, that'll do. Mm -hmm. And then I'm gonna mix it in. So I have my trays ready. Let's get them in. Let's get them in. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> this butter kind of looks purple than red, but it's fine. But you know what the best part about baking is? Eating the butter afterwards. Just saying. Oh, it's dripping everywhere. Oh, that looks nice, doesn't it? Come on. There we go. And let's get them in the oven. Nice. So the next part of my cupcakes is the icing sugar. So I have my, my icing sugar and my butter to make the icing. So let's get going. So I need 100 grams of butter, which I can do. Worry not, my fiends. I don't know if that'll be 100, but. Bang on, I'm getting good at this. And then it says 225 grams of icing sugar. It's not working. 225 grams. Cool, cool beans, we got there. Again, I'm gonna separate this into two. So in one, I'm going to put cream cheese for the red velvet cakes. And then in another one, I'm going to put more Biscoff spread. And then like these little chocolate biscuits on top. So should taste nice if it all goes well. Which it clearly hasn't because I've just spilled it all over me. <laughs> Oopsie. Doing a great job. So it's mixed. I'm going to split it into this bowl. So one's going to have a spoon of Biscoff and one is going to have some cream cheese. And now we mix again. This light is annoying me. Hello. Hello. Guys, they're so beautiful. Wow. So then we're going to let them cool and then ice them. This is kind of hard to film with one hand, but I'm gonna try anyway. So these are the Lotus Biscoff ones and they look very nice. So let's do a taste test. I've broken one in half and not decorated it. So I'm not running the other ones. Let's get one. Mmm, that's really nice. And these ones are the red velvet ones. They kind of look a bit crap. I'll try one and see what it tastes like, I guess. They kind of sunk and I'm not sure why. Again, not a baker. <laughs> I'm not surprised they failed, but we'll see if they taste nice. A bit stodgy. It tastes good though. And that's my video. I hope you enjoyed it. I know it's a little bit chaotic and the final result wasn't that great, but it was fun to make them. They taste okay. Please give it a like, a comment, subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell. You can also follow me on my other social medias like Instagram and TikTok. And I guess I'll see you next time. Bye.